Hey, it's Steve L, and today's video is about taking the initiative. And you know, when I first started out in the film business, I started working as an intern. And you know, I think internships are a great, great way to get your feet wet, get your foot in the door, and learn a little bit about the industry that uh, you want to go into. So. I highly recommend internships. I think it's a, a great thing to do, and uh, it was really beneficial for me. But um, when I was an intern, there was something that I would do that kind of set me apart from all the other interns, and it got me a lot of job offers, uh, got me hired ultimately, and uh, you know, this is something that's helped me all through my life. Uh, and it's uh, a trait that I want to talk about, and that trait is the trait of taking the initiative. So, um, let me give you an example. So when I was an intern, the way this would work, or what I would do is, I wouldn't wait to be told to do something. I, you know, a lot of the other interns, they would just kind of be standing around, kind of waiting to be told what to do. But when I went in there, I wouldn't wait around. I would just kind of figure out what needed to be done, and then I would just go do it, right? I would just take the initiative and go do it. Now, you've got to be careful about this, you know, if you're in an office setting, because you don't want to step on anybody's toes, so you got to be careful what it is that you take the initiative to go and do. But you know, just to give you an example, what I would do is, you know, like if I saw like the supply closet or something like that was just completely disorganized and in disarray, uh, which you know it always was because people were just going in there grabbing something right and running out. Uh, I would sit there for maybe uh, you know a couple hours in the morning and I would just organize things, put things back in their place, neaten things up. And then over the course of the day or the week, people would come into that su supply closet and they would be amazed. They'd be like, whoa, what happened here, you know? Everything's all organized. And, uh, you know, of course they say, oh, you know, Steve did that. And, you know, nobody told me to do it. I just took the initiative to go and do it. And that really impressed people, right? That really got people's attention. And that's a thing, you know, that you want to practice in your life, uh, taking the initiative and what that does is that sets you apart from other people because not everybody does that, right? So that's why I'm making this video because I want you to think about ways in your life that you can take it upon yourself to take the initiative, to do something positive, do something good, to bring value, right? You're always looking to add some value and to be of service. That's another uh, phrase I really uh, subscribe to. And, you know, as an intern, the last thing you want to be, because when you go in there, it's like as an intern, and I've had interns, the executives, you know, they have to kind of uh, supervise you and they have to give you things to do and, you know, there's really not a whole lot an intern can do because, you know, an intern doesn't know so much, so executives have to explain everything and that takes time. It's very time consuming and it's very distracting. So when you have an intern that comes in there and just takes it upon himself, takes the initiative to go and do things, that's somebody who's a real high value person. That's somebody you're gonna to wanna to hang on to. That's somebody that you notice. And you know, that's the person that you're gonna ultimately be offering a job to. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna separate yourself from the pack, right? You wanna show people what makes you different, right? What talents you have. I mean, you don't need to be naturally born as like the alpha male, but if you exhibit alpha male traits, uh, then people will perceive you as that person, right? As the leader, as the kind of person they want to be around, the kind of person they want working for them. Um, you know, as another example, I, uh, there was an executive at the company, and back in the day, the uh, trade papers like Variety, Hollywood Reporter, those would usually come in the mail. So on my way in, I would buy it at the newsstand. And I'd be in there reading the variety in the morning and the executive would come in and he knew he had to wait till, you know, till lunchtime before the mail came to actually read the variety. So I knew that and I'd go by the variety, I would read it, and then I'd leave it in his office. So when he showed up, he had it right there. And believe me, he really appreciated that because he was ahead of the curve, right? He was getting the news before everybody else in that office was seeing it. And so that gave him an advantage. And, you know, that was just a really small little thing that I did. But uh, I, you know, was aware that this is what, you know, would be something that would bring value to what he did in his job. And it was just a very simple thing. I would just pick up, you know, I knew, I knew that it would come in the mail. It came, you know, like one or two o'clock in the afternoon. So I knew if I came in in the morning and I had it there ready for him, he could read it and he'd just be ahead of the curve. He'd be ahead of everybody else. And um, that made him a stronger executive. And, he, and that was because of me. 
So um, that was something else that I did. Again, um, that was making me a very valuable part of the team, even though I was just an unpaid intern. Um, so that was something that I did, and that got me a lot of job offers, and that really helped separate me out from everybody else who was you know, trying to get a job as an intern at that time. Um, now here's a little pro tip. Usually internships these days, you have to be in college and doing them for college credit. And not, you know, you may not be in college and you may still want to try to figure out a way to do an intern internship. So here's a pro tip. Uh, just go sign up at the local community college uh, for one course, like a one credit course. And then you can bring that to the uh, company that you're looking to gain an internship at and you can assure them it's okay, you know, they won't be violating any labor laws because uh, that's the issues they'll run into and generally they don't want to bring on interns who aren't in college. But if you just go sign up for one class at a community college, you'll be able to satisfy that, acquire, that requirement and you'll be brought on board or even better yet, you'll be hired, okay, if you show some initiative. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up at the site, steve at the lifestyle by steveel.com, and we'll talk to you soon.